just south of downtown Los Angeles, a new building reaches up towards the sky. When finished, it will include 306 condominiums, six retail stores, a rooftop sports club, five townhomes, and a swimming pool. It's called Evo. Five months into a two-year construction schedule, Evo is 20 feet off the ground. The third floor will house 25 condo units, each with its own kitchen, bathroom, and laundry. A crew from the jobs plumbing subcontractor, Murray Company, has begun laying out the deck. You should have a 3285, 86, 87. 69, 70, and 71 should be on K-Line. They are led by Tim McCarty, a 30-year, third-generation plumber. I started reading blueprints when I was five, so been in the trade a long time. To get water to and from the 25 units on this floor, 336 pipes will need to pass through the concrete deck. To make room for those pipes, Tim's crew lays down cans, steel cylinders open at both ends that will create holes once the concrete is poured. Each can has a number. 3285. These are all the designations for all our cans for both drain, water, gas pipe. So what we do is go off of this blueprint, find our marks, and then this sheet here gives us all of our sizing of our cans. Their challenge is that all these cans have to be precisely placed to fit inside walls that won't be built for another five months. There really is no messing up when it comes to the deck layout. If you do have a you know, can that's out of a wall, it's a lot more costly to have to go back and put that can where it's supposed to be. Left 25, left five, and shooting. That's a good point. Moving a hole after the concrete is poured can cost thousands of dollars. To make sure the cans end up in the right place, they rely on the survey team, Tim Harris and Monty Moose. It's their job to match up Evo's architectural plans with reality. If they, and they just go by what we say, and if they build a wall, then all the concrete and all the work in it, and it's not in the right place, it, you know, and it's our fault, it costs a lot of money. The plumbing crew have been given only two days to set over 100 cans and 250 blue bangers. Are these what they call blue bangers? When they strip the, when they strip the form, this form, this is what's going to be flush with the concrete. The blue bangers are used for screwing pipe hangers to the underside of a deck. My philosophy is, I'll get it when it's done, it's done. You know, but I'm gonna pride myself on making sure it's right, then having them hurry me and then come back and say, hey, look at, look at all these cans on deck two that you know, aren't where they're supposed to be, how come? And what am I supposed to do? Go back and say, well, you guys rushed me. You know, that's not the professionalism.